Hi guys, and welcome back to Long Live the Queen. Um, let's load up. Last we left it, um, I was rather upset, uh, but had not been assassinated. Hadn't had any kind of assassination attempts thrown on me. Uh, no wolves through the window, no flying dragons, no knives, no strange bedposts trying to impale my face. No assassinations. Awesome. Um, so, might as well get started again. Uh, so, um, I have been having a quick read of some of the upcoming events, one of which is a, a military hospital. Um, which I need, I believe, herbs and battlefield medicine for. So, medicine would be a good one to go uh, go through to. It still gives me no bonuses, um, and my social is going to be needed to be up if I'm going to be doing parades and things that come up as well. Uh, plus, I also need to get this <laughs> this here up. It is really, really poor and really, really necessary. Um, so I think what I'm going to aim to do this round is get angry so I can get this up and hopefully get this up. Um, so let's just go for uh, presence and counting. Uh, presence, yeah. Economics, counting. Yeah, done. You study the manipulation of larger quantities through direct calculations using written numbers instead of an abacus. I can count and write. You practice being aware of your environment, seeing everything as it transpires around you and feeling that you are in control of it all. You practice giving commands to the castle staff, neither asking nor demanding, but telling them what needs to be done. As long as you believe it to be true, they will as well. Not quite sure about that, but never mind. <clears throat> you are requested to stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown. Your Highness, this slattern dares to beg pardon when she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Which sister? Coruscant, the Duchess of Mead. Is she alright? She is unharmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchens before anyone could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Faceless robot voice incoming. It's just as it is. Them devils killed me brother and broke me mam's heart. Lied to her they did. When she went to see why he'd not come back, said he'd gone for a soldier when he never would. He weren't the only one neither. I waited ten years for my chance to get my own back. That's justice. You see, she's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. I don't know what it's all about. If I murder it is a serious crime. But, uh... Um, I think imprisoning her is the best one for all. Execute her, everyone goes, Oh my god, you've executed her! Put her to work, no one will get pissed off. Um, imprison is all around, I think I know what's going to happen anyway. Imprison! You have tried to murder a noble in my domain, and I have no reason to believe you wouldn't do it again. What? You'll be in prison for the rest of your life. You'll not have me. All of a sudden, she breaks loose from her guards and rushes at you. In your court dress, you are unarmed. You grope for a weapon and find only a heavy golden ornament which you hurl in her direction. Whee! And he misses. <laughs> your missile flies wide of his mark and probably brains some poor, poor innocent person. Before you have a chance to do anything, your personal guards step into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. Her lifeless body lies bleeding on your carpet. Clean it up. I've got stuff to do. Now that you finish studying, what will you do for the weekend? Do something that makes me angry. I need to get my weapons up. Because if you saw on that one, archery, rubbish. 
even with like, the, the golden orb lobbed at somebody who's charging at me, I can't hit. I need to get angry. Why is something that gets me angry? Angry. Angry, angry, angry. I haven't got anything that makes me angry. No angry. Alright. Uh, let's visit the treasury then. Yay! The order of the guards to stand aside and walk forward with your head held high. None of them dares deny your access to your own treasury at last. The glitch is dazzling, but some sixth sense draws you towards one little locked box in particular. This is what you need. This is the crystal that will make you a lumen. You tuck the box into your pocket. You can show it to your mentor later and get instructions on what to do next. Um, right, something that happened last uh, last time was we got an outfit, but I didn't show anybody it. So let's bring out our outfits. We have boarding school uniform, which is this one, and coronet boosts royal demeanor. So if we put that on, see what it looks like. There we are. Oh, I'm such a pretty princess. So royal demeanor. BAM! Look at that! Mega bonus! Um, so... I've still got very high ranking there, so I could just go up and up and up, but you know, it's it's, it's quite good as it stands. Um, I think what I'm still going to need to do though, is potentially get some more economics. Uh, dogs should be alright. I could probably get some law done. Uh, Actually, let's get some expression. Expression, and um, yeah, I suppose I might as well put something into into some of the rest of this. Um, herbs. Yeah, expression and herbs. Uh, so, expression, uh, decoration, and medicine. About battlefield medicine, why not? You learn to mix paints and apply them to canvas, capturing the light and colour of castle gardens. You learn that wounds, even minor ones, should be washed as soon as possible to prevent dirt from growing under the skin. I'm not sure dirt grows under the skin, but never mind. As you're walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in its talons. That's funny, I thought owls were nocturnal. Oh, I guess I was wrong. Because I know nothing. When you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There is a woman here to see you. She wishes ground funding for a project. Thank you for seeing me, your royal highness. I come to you on behalf of the people. I wish to build a hospital when any citizen afflicted with disease can be brought for treatment. Putting all the sick people together, wouldn't that make them die faster? We are not interested in having people die faster. Unless I'm sending them to war, in which case I am. Right. Uh, it's annoying that I've got nothing that will make me angry. I want to be angry so I can get my swords up. Uh, I'm a little bit angry, but I need to be more angry. More. This is something that makes me less afraid. I'd probably do the same sort of thing, I suppose. Yeah, plus one afraid, minus one depressed. Plus one will fall for going in the treasury. <laughs> yeah, my treasury, get out. Um. Well, I think I probably need to go see the Duchess Ursel. Because I'm depressed, that won't do anything for me. Duchess! I oh, got it! What do I do now? Pick up the crystal with your bare hands, press it against your chest over your heart and say, Illuminate! Alright then. Okay, here we go. Illuminate! Ta -da! You feel dizzy and both larger and lighter than you were before. The crystal has disappeared from view, but you know where it is. Wow! The priestess here is a friend of mine. I will come to all lessons in the faith and train you to use your powers. I'm a wizard. Yeah. Wizard princess. Right. 
Uh, no, it's rubbish. <laughs> it's rubbish! Um, current mood yielding. So I basically want to get rid of yielding, because that will give me bonuses to well, stop having penalties on weapon and lumen. Um, so, in the meantime, let's see, what have we got? Mystical is one of the better ones. History. Uh, history of all demeanor look like the best ones. But let's go history. Let's get Novan and World History out of the way. So, hopefully, I can start expanding down there. History. Novan history. History. World history. You read about the history of your domain. Hundreds of years ago, Nova was the centre of a great empire spanning the length of the western coast as well as a few island territories. Over time, your influence has waned. You look at the globe of the world, reading names of places so distant you can't remember having heard of them, and other areas left blank because no explorer venturing there has ever returned. Which leads me to wonder how they know the proper size of the globe. No one's ever been there. No one. Uh, remember, the festival of the good lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. As queen, you will be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting. Possibly give a speech. However, since you are not yet crowned, it is not the required, and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean, not safe? Look, I don't know. Outside of the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone means you harm, think on it now, decide later. <coughs> oh, there's a letter for you as well. It's from Bryony. I went to school with her, but she's a couple of years older than me. Her mother is a Duchess of Mead. She's complaining her mother still won't let her come home for the release. Apparently Uncle Kevin, Kevin, Kevin maybe, has been acting strangely lately and showing her shadows. I think he might have a brain fever. She's bored and looking for adventure. Well, I don't have any to suggest though. So never mind then. Right, uh, so... Uh, what I, I want it to be... Uh, I want it to be less yielding, didn't I? I want to be slightly more willful. So, minus yielding or plus willful, I think is what I'm looking for. Uh, anything... It's plus yielding... Plus two willful. And plus one lonely. I don't mind having the lonely, I don't think the lonely is going to affect me much. Uh, I might lie a little bit. Never mind, let's go. You sneak out of the castle and have a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. Urgh, look at me, I'm willful now. Come mood, angry! Yes! Weapons! Yes! Yes! Weapons! Conversation's still rubbish. Um, I'm, now, if I'm going to be taking part in that speech, I need to have public speaking. Um, elegance as well, I'm going to need... So if I get elegance and uh, archery, because I know something that's coming up that's going to need archery. Uh, Royal demeanor, elegance, weapons, archery. You are strapped into a corset and hoop skirt and practice walking in these. The corset makes it hard to breathe and twist and the skirt sways out of control if you move too rapidly. You practice graceful arm gestures for every motion, from offering your hand for a kiss, to taking hold of a banister to the stairs. You learn how to twist and wax a bowstring from a variety of fibres. Today is the procession and planting for the festival of a good lady. Will you be leading the parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. People will recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there is no recovery. Right. I am going to lead the parade because I hope I've got enough in uh, in my elegance to uh, to make it like pass away possible. 
So, uh, right, off we go. I'm not afraid. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best pro leader ever. My little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. Jeez, that must be a big scepter. Uh, uh. At the end of the route, you help the priestesses turn over the earth for a new tree to be planted. Then new life is blessed and the attendees join in song. The procession regroups and returns to the castle. And I'm not killed! Yeah! Um, right, so... I'm cheerful. That's good. Um, do I want to be a little bit lonely, a bit more cheerful? Gardens? Minus one angry, I want... No, I want angry. I don't. I definitely want angry. Plus one willful, plus one angry. Um, yeah. Dungeons. You sneak a peek at some of the luckless peasants held in the dungeons. Petty thieves and troublemakers now suffering in the dark. They're obviously bad people, but seeing them so miserable still feels unfair. There must be a better way. Hmm. I don't know about that. Right. Uh, okay, that's gone up. That's good. Uh, I'm not sure what's physical. Let's see. Well, my current mood angry. Penalty to demeanor, expression, animal handling, and medicine. Not a negative to agility. Um. So if I go for uh again, shall I go for history? Because I think history again. I need a bonus to it. Um. It's kind of pretty low. And you know, my expression, I hoped it would have been enough, but obviously it wasn't. Um, conversation, I don't think I've ever got anything in conversation any time I've played. Uh, military, though, that's quite good. So if I go military strategy, military strategy and archery, I think. Yeah, this time I've got military strategy and archery, I'll run through, get the results. Um, and then I think I shall call an end to this video. So, uh, military strategy and archery. You study the effects of battle stress on troops and how morale can turn the tide of combat. You learn to cut, fletch, and tie arrows. You learn about different styles and sizes of bows, long, short, and recurve. Are you ready for the grand ball? No. I've got no good sit down rubbish. All the nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. Yeah, gulp is is right. I have not prepared for this at all. Uh <laughs> You finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. Around you, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. You let your eyes rest upon each in turn as you have been taught, impressing upon them that you are not a child, but a queen. Your father waits through the bottom of the stairs and offers his arm. The first dance is for us. <gasps> I've got no sense of balance. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kaigal alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. You look around the room at all your possible partners, which is to say, everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You pick whomever you want and you will not be denied. Uh, manners failed. Um, um, <laughs> oh, rubbish. Let's go. Someone about my age. Why not? You approach Linley, the second son of Duke Kaigal. He's about two years older than you and is always nice to you at school, which is a bonus. He bows to you with great courtesy and you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, his steps, like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Fail. 
Unfortunately, you lose track of which step you're supposed to do when you trip over your own feet. Whoopsie! Between the dances, there is time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food. Fail! So he told you I didn't prepare for this. During a long music, Bunyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against the wine glass, letting the clear note ring up through the room. If I might have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her bravery and courage keep our borders defended. Everyone applauds. As the gala continues, take the opportunity to observe the nobles you rarely see. There's Gwynell, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lydia and a fierce sportsman. She's a few years ahead of you at school and the absolute terror of the ball fields. No briny, she had said her parents were leaving her stuck at school for this reason. Her parents are here, dancing together, the Duke Consort clutching his Duchess possessively tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins though, shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here of course, it would be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being so close by. It's nice to be able to enjoy the time with friends and family, isn't it? Fail. Right, Um. so I'm going to go back to dungeons, get myself a little bit more angry. And call it there. I think uh, that's been a, a fair run. Um, managed to avoid getting killed at any point during the the procession, although failed miserably when it came to actually trying to impress people and dance and having any courtly manners whatsoever. Um, but oh well, better luck next time, I guess. So on that note. I'll uh, I'll see you all later so have fun and good night